it's hot out there. The heat can really be a drain on you and your crew. But did you know that the heat also plays a huge factor on the outcome of your concrete work? Evaporation, exothermic reactions, condensation, ambient temperatures, and friction all play a big role. ConcreteNetwork.com has compiled a comprehensive section called Hot Weather Concreting. All of the technical whys and how-tos are included. For example, we know that curing is critical anytime, but in hot, dry weather, it needs to start as soon as your finishing operations are completed. Friction within the concrete during mixing can generate enough heat to raise the concrete temperature five degrees in 30 minutes. And in hot weather, as the cement sets up, slump decreases rapidly and more mixing water is needed. This can contribute to lower strength. The good news is that there are many ways to lessen the effects of hot weather on concrete. First, Keep the sun off the concrete, if at all possible. For interior slabs, try to place after the building has been closed in. Outside, use sunshades. Also, keep all of your tools and equipment out of the sun, especially things like pump hoses that will come in direct contact with the concrete. Once you understand the power of heat and how to control it, your days of uncontrollable set times, shrinkage, and cracks will be over. 